Hello everyone, Ronnie J here from Internet Radio Station. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use sound broadcasters to stream somebody else's stream. Uh, oftentimes, you might want to do that if you're, say, away from your studio and uh, you want to pull in another stream, say, as film music. Let's say you're going to be out of your studio for an hour and you want to rebroadcast someone else's stream or you might even want to rebroadcast someone else's talk show for an hour, a half an hour, or whatever. Well, let me show you how you can do that. There are several ways. You can create an event for it. You can use a PAL script, or you can use an event in conjunction with a PAL script. And I'm going to show you all three ways. The latter is probably the most efficient because creating an event allows you to pull in the stream, and the stream is going to run uh, indefinitely until you... Uh, insert some type of mechanism to tell Sam Broadcaster to stop. So that's where the PAL script comes in. So by creating an event, the stream will just run. So by using a PAL script with the event, you can tell Sam Broadcasters to uh, stop the stream and resume normal programming. So let's go ahead and do it the easy way. Let's do the event first. Let me show you how it's done. I'm going to go to my desktop be here. I have my event scheduler window and I'm going to create an event by clicking on the plus icon there and I'll give it an event name and I'll call this uh, stream. I'm going to select add files to the queue radio button and over here to the right toward the bottom is a button that says URL. You want to click on that and you want to type in the IP address and port of the stream. And I happen to have one already in here. And this is another Smooth Jazz radio station. And you could type in the description here. And I'll just type in another Smooth Jazz. And of course, if you actually know who uh, that uh, radio station is, you, you want to type in the name. I just don't remember what that is. I know it's a smooth jazz radio station, however, and click OK. And over here, I want to schedule when I want this stream to kick in. Oh, by the way, over here where it says uh, IP bottom, I want to change that bottom to top, capital T O P, top of the queue. Over here, we want to schedule when we want this stream to pull in. So right now, my local time is 11:21. So I'm going to schedule this for 11.22 to give me some time here. And then I'll click Add. And I'll click OK. Now I'm going to go back over to my desktop A because I want you to see the stream kick in. Right now it's uh, 23.21 and I'm going to start my stream. My programming rather. And let me reduce the volume. So at 11.22, the stream will kick in. In other words, Sam Broadcaster will go out and grab that stream. Now notice that uh, it's 23.22, so we've gone over the time. The reason for that is because there's a song already in the queue. And Sam Broadcaster will not go out and grab that stream until this song in Deck A is finished. So what I am going to do, I'm going to advance or fade out this song and you'll see the stream load in over here on deck B. Fading it out. And see here? Sam Broadcast went out and grabbed uh, the stream from 1FM Bay Smooth. And that's playing. Now down here in my queue, the next song that's going to come up is going to be one by Down to the Bone. But it's not going to do anything until the stream stops. And right now, I don't have any mechanism in place that's telling Sam Broadcaster to stop the stream and pick up and resume what's in the queue. So that's what I'm going to show you next. Now, the way we tell Sam Broadcaster to kick out this stream and resume normal programming is by using a PAL script. So let's go to my desktop C and I'm looking at my PAL scripts window here and we're going to use a PAL script and I'll have this on the website. I'm going to click on the plus icon, click on the button that says automatically start PAL script, 
click on the folder icon and navigate and locate a PAL script called end of live stream and it's right there end of live stream PAL so I'll select that and I'll click open then click OK and that places it here our next step now is to create an event that will tell SAM Broadcaster to execute that PAL script. So I'm coming down to my event scheduler, click on the plus icon, and I'm going to give this a name and say uh, kick out stream, it can be anything that you like, and I'm going to select execute PAL script. And over here, uh, I'm going to set a time. And right now, my local time is 2326. So I'm going to give myself two minutes so you can see it. So I'm going to set this to 2328. So we'll make this 2228. And click Add. And I want to execute a PAL script. So make sure this button here is checked. I'm going to click on this icon here. And navigate to that very same end of end live stream pal, select it and click open, then click OK. Right, so the event has been scheduled. I've got about a minute here, so you can see it. So I'm gonna go back to my desktop A. I'm gonna start the stream back up again. The remote stream from 1FM base move. And this is what's gonna happen. At 23, 28, that's about a minute from now this stream is going to fade out and Sam Broadcaster is going to execute that end of stream PAL script and then it's going to resume normal programming. It's automatic. So we got about uh, 10 seconds here. You can see here already what was in the queue was loaded up in deck A and this stream is going to fade out. See, it faded oh, out. I'm running dead. So what was in my queue is now resume playing. That was a voiceover you just heard incidentally, which was in the queue. And now the stream is gone. A remote stream is gone. And now my programming has been resumed. And I did all this simply by using this end live stream pal and setting up an event for it. So let me show you how to automate this. So what we want to do is to go over to our event scheduler. I'm looking at my desktop C and I'm going to click on the event scheduler icon and I'm going to first uh, pull in my stream. So I'm going to select add files to the queue and select the URL button here and select my IP address of the stream that I want to pull in and I know that this is 1FM so I'll type that here as a description and click OK and here I want to change IP bottom to IP top and over here I'm going to schedule the, the stream to pull in say at uh, 23 54 give myself some time here so I'm gonna set this to 2354 and click add and there it is and then click OK. So at 2354 Sam Broadcaster will pull in the stream. But I want Sam Broadcaster to stop that stream. So to do that I'll schedule another event so by clicking on the event scheduler. And this time I'll select execute PAL script. Click on the icon and select the end live stream pal and select open. And over here, I want to select the time that I want that stream to end. Let's say if I want that stream to run for one minute. So I, I'm going to have it start at uh, 2354, but I want to stop at 2355. So I'll type in 2355 here and click add. And click OK. All set. So what's going to happen here again as a review is that at 23:54, it's about a minute from now, Sam Broadcaster is going to fade out the song that's in deck A, 
and then fade in over here on deck B or pull in that stream. That stream is going to run for one minute, then fade out and pull whatever in the queue here up into the deck here. Let's watch that happen. We have about another 40 seconds here. We're at 23.54, and as you can see down here in the queue, what's getting ready to load up now into deck B, it's going to be that stream. It's waiting for this song to fade out, and there it is. The external stream from 1FM is now playing in my Sam Broadcaster. And this is what my listeners will be listening to if I was live right now. This stream will run for one minute because that's how I have it set up. Then when that one minute expires, then the server in the queue here will pull up and start playing. So in about 20 seconds, we'll see that. Let's watch it. See there? The stream faded out and what was in my queue pulled up and it's now playing. So this is how, let me pull this down so you can reduce the volume here. So this is how you would set up a uh, Sam Broadcaster to go out and grab an external stream, as many as you like, schedule them to run, to end, and then resume your normal programming. So I think you get the idea of how you can use Sam Broadcaster to do this for talk shows, uh, someone else's talk shows for news broadcast, and it is a very, very powerful feature. Uh, this is something that uh, Winamp uh, cannot do. So I hope this helped. This is Ronnie J from Internet Radio Station. Thank you for listening.